John Stampanato Jr., October 10, 1925, April 4, 1958, was a United States Marine who became a bodyguard and enforcer for gangster Mickey Cohen and the Cohen crime family. In the mid-1950s, he began an abusive relationship with actress Lana Turner. In 1958, he was stabbed to death by Turner's daughter. Cheryl Crane, who said she did it to defend her mother from a vicious beating by Stampanato. His death was ruled as justifiable homicide because he had been killed in self-defense. Early Life John Stampanato Jr. was born into an Italian-American family in Woodstock, Illinois. His father, John Sr., owned a barber shop and his mother, Carmela, was a seamstress. Both parents were born in Italy but were married in Brooklyn. They had moved to Woodstock in 1916. Stampanato was the youngest of four children. He had two older sisters, Grace and Teresa, and an older brother, Carmen. Six days after his birth, his mother died of peritonitis. Johnny's father soon married a woman named Verena Freitag. In 1940, after Stampanato's freshman year at Woodstock High School, his father sent him to Kemper Military School for Boys in Boonville, Missouri. In 1942, he graduated at the age of 17. In 1943, Stampanato joined the U.S. Marines serving with the 1st Service Battalion, 1st Marine Division. He served in the South Pacific Theater, in Peleliu and Okinawa, and then served in China. Stampanato left the Corps in March 1946, being discharged in China. Stampanato met his first wife, Sarah Yutush, a Turkish woman, while stationed in Tianjin, China. They wed in May 1946. Yutush was a dress designer who had formerly lived in Beijing. Stampanato converted to Islam in order to marry her. They returned to Woodstock where they had their first son. John Stampanato III, who was born in September 1947. Stampanato left his wife and child and moved to Hollywood, California, in 1947. His wife was granted the divorce in Illinois on the grounds of desertion in January 1949. The next month, Stampanato, described in a news article as a ceramics manufacturer, married actress Helen Gilbert. Three months later, Gilbert announced she would seek to end the marriage, calling it a mistake. They divorced in July 1949. Organized crime after moving to Los Angeles, Stampanato owned and managed the Myrtlewood gift shop in Westwood. The business sold inexpensive pieces of crude pottery and wood carvings as fine art. Through connections to the L.A. underworld, he became a bodyguard for gangster Mickey Cohen and as well as an enforcer for his crime family. Stampanato also established himself within Hollywood society. In 1948, Frank Sinatra asked Cohen to tell Stampanato to keep away from Ava Gardner. But the mob boss instead told Sinatra to go back to his wife and children, because he never got between men and their broads. In August 1949, Stampanato was described in the press as the new right-hand man and bodyguard of Rackets boss Mickey Cohen, replacing Nettie Herbert, who was slain in an ambush the previous month. At the time, Stampanato was arrested on a charge of vagrancy. He was driving the Cadillac at the time of his arrest, which was ordered as part of a campaign by Los Angeles County Sheriff Eugene W. Biscayles to dehoodlamize the Sunset Strip. He was carrying checks totaling $33.657.50.In 1950, Stampanato, described as a recent and inexperienced recruit from Illinois, was listed as one of the principal members of the Cohen Gang by the California Commission on Organized Crime. Throughout the 1950s, he was arrested seven times by the LAPD for various criminal charges ranging from vagrancy to suspicion of robbery. In October 1952, Stampanato left Cohen and started dating Helene Stanley, a former 20th Century Fox contract player. By December, he was working as her manager. The following year, she became his third wife, however, they divorced two years later. 
relationship with Lana Turner by 1957, Stampanato was in a relationship with actress Lana Turner, who had split up from her fifth husband Lex Barker. She had also just lost her MGM contract after a series of box office flops. In recognition of their relationship, he wore a heavy gold link bracelet on his wrist with Lunita inscribed inside. Turner's daughter Cheryl Crane described him as B picture good looks, thick set, powerfully built and soft spoken, and talked in short sentences to cover a poor grasp of grammar and spoke in a deep baritone voice. With friends, he seldom smiled or laughed out loud, but seemed always coiled, holding himself in, had watchful hooded eyes that took in more than he wanted anyone to notice. His wardrobe on a daily basis consisted of roommate, draped slacks, a silver buckled skinny leather belt and blizzard shoes. Their relationship was stormy. It was often punctuated with frequent arguments and fights. In 1957, Stampanato became so jealous about Turner's relationship with future James Bond actor Sean Connery, he flew to the United Kingdom. He stormed onto the set of Another Time, another place threatening Connery with a gun. Unperturbed. The six feet two in Scotsman, who was a former bodybuilder and karate black belt, bent Stampanato's hand back, forcing him to drop the weapon. He was reported to the police and quietly deported from the United Kingdom. After Stampanato's death, it was rumored that at least one LA mobster held Connery responsible, leading the actor to go into hiding for a short time afterwards. Fatal Stabbing On April 4, 1958, Stampanato was stabbed to death by Turner's teenage daughter Cheryl Crane at her mother's home in Beverly Hills, California. She claimed that Stampanato had been violently attacking her mother, so she stabbed him. A coroner's inquest returned a decision of justifiable homicide. After the ruling, Stampanato's family sued Turner for $750,000, they later settled for $20,000. Stampanato is interred at Oakland Cemetery, in Woodstock, McHenry County, Illinois beside his mother Carmela, 1890-1925, his father John, 1890-1952, and his stepmother Verena, 1901-1967. His brother Carmine, 1912-1961 is buried nearby. Portrayals in 1979 René Ricard wrote one of his best-known poems, The Death of Johnny Stampanato, published in Italian translation in 1981 and republished in René Ricard, Love Poems, C.U.Z. Editions, 1999. In James L. Roy's novels, Stampanato was a minor character in The Big Nowhere, and in L.A. Confidential Stampanato plays a key role in the conspiracy at the center of the story. At the novel's conclusion, Elroy weaves many of the real-life details of Stampanato's death into the otherwise largely fictional plot. In the 1997 movie L.A. Confidential, 1997, Stampanato is portrayed by Paolo Siganti, and is seen sitting in a booth with Lana Turner, portrayed by Brenda Backey, at West Hollywood's Formosa Cafe. In November 2009, a BBC Radio 4 original play, A Night with Johnny Stampanato, was first broadcast. Stampanato was played by James Carpinello in the 2013 film Gangster Squad. Stampanato makes an appearance in the 2011 video game L.A. Neuer as an associate of gangster Mickey Cohn and is voiced by Andy Davoli. Do you want a Bible written? and sung by Tom Russell is a story song about Stampanato. The opening lines are, Lana Turner's daughter killed Joey Stampanato, found on Height 1 Records release, Modern Art. Notes Citations References Lewis, Brad, 2007 Hollywood Celebrity Gangster, The Incredible Life in Times of Mickey Cohn. Enigma Books, New York. ISBN 9781929631650. Crane, Cheryl and Cliff Yar, 1988. Detour, A Hollywood Story. Arbor House. External links Johnny Stampanato at Find a Grave.